Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about something that a, a buddy of mine said I should do a video on actually, and that is a bug out bag slash 72 hour survival bag. So we're going to uh, see what I would put in my bag. This is not uh, an end all be all list of things or a presentation of things. You can make the bag as great and grand as you want it to be or as scaled down as you want it to be. Um, we're going to talk about what I've put together in a bag and uh, go from there. So let's dive into it. All right. So here's the bag that I've chosen right here. It's just a standard uh, Tacticon multi-cam backpack. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but it does get the job done. Um, All together, this thing weighs in at 19 pounds with everything that I need in it, that I think I need in it to survive for up to 72 hours out there in the wild. So hopefully that gets me where I'm going or gets me back home. So hopefully it does the job and handles everything that I may encounter out there in a urban, rural, whatever environment that uh, we happen to find ourselves trapped in trying to get back or trying to get to where we're going. So let's shut the heck up. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. All right, guys. So clear it off the table, move the backpack down here. Trust me, the backpack is right here. I'm not grabbing anything off the floor. Everything that's going to go on the table is coming out of this pack. So um, just real quick, how you organize this stuff is going to be up to you. Obviously, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got like a multitude of pockets to be able to kind of separate things into different you know, categories and things like that. So your bag is going to play a huge part. Um, so having Molly, having good, thick freaking uh, cords to work your zippers, having the ability to cinch this down. Um, I also have chest strap on this thing and a waist strap to be able to help with that weight distribution and how it's carried on the body. So the bag is a very important thing. Don't just go to Walmart and grab just any old generic you know, school backpack. You're like Get something that has a little bit of thought put into it. All right, so I'm gonna go into this first main pouch here and i have a skivvy roll if you don't know what a skivvy roll is it's just an undershirt uh undergarments uh shorts and a pair of socks because being cold and wet sucks so having at least one skivvy roll just kind of makes sense to me all right something to put water in this is a prep right survival water bottle that does include a filtration device so Instead of carrying a bunch of water around with me, hoping that it uh, doesn't weigh me down because water is heavy, um, just go ahead and get this. Any nasty water, uh, mud puddle, water source, whatever, doesn't matter how, how gross it is, this will get the water right. You can drink straight from the source and uh, saves a lot of weight for me having to carry clean water around. All right, what do I have here? This is a emergency poncho. It is camo. This could also be doubled. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out. It's a big ass uh, camo poncho. And it could also be doubled as a protection for your gear or as a tarp if you needed to uh, get yourself out of, the, out of the elements. All right, a hammock. This is just a quick little hammock. It does have uh, carabiners and stuff like that. So if you wrap around a tree and all that goodness, everything is included in a little kit. Again, I'm not gonna pull it out. You've seen one hammock, you've seen a million. Um, this is just a little cheap brand that I got off of uh, Amazon, so you can look that up if you want to. All right, and then here is just, <laughs> don't pay attention to the Timu bag. That's just the bag I used to put everything together in one spot, but this is all my medical stuff. So, if by no means is this like all you should have, this is just what I decided to put together and uh, carry with me here in this bag. You can have as much or as little as you want. Um, everybody's gonna have their own idea of what they should have. So we just have some standard, uh, some gauze here. Here's a little uh, makeshift fabric that you can use to cover uh, head, head wounds, make slings out of, tourniquets, whatever you need. Um, extra band-aids and alcohol antiseptic wipes. This is a little waterproof case with just regular kind of everyday bandages and stuff. So 
and it, more antiseptic wipes, more band-aids, some sterile gauze, and some moleskin. Um, if you don't know what moleskin is, it's basically like a little sticky fabric that you can put on your skin. And a lot of times when people hike and stuff like that, the backs of their heels start rubbing in, in their boots or their shoes, and it's just really freaking uncomfortable. So you can put a piece of that moleskin to add an extra layer of protection to protect your skin. Sam Splint. These things are awesome. They're really, uh, really useful for a multitude of things. Um, you can kind of see right here all the little curve, uh, make a C curve for wounds there for little fractures and breaks that you could potentially have. There's a bunch more uh, little graphics and stuff. Um, you can use these things for so many things and there's different ways you could shape and mold them depending on the type of injury that you have and you're trying to, uh, to help it out. All right, then we have a uh, bowl and chest seal. So this is for those uh, open chest injuries and sucking chest wounds. These are uh, always good to have because you just never know. And then we have this burn tech first aid for uh, burns. This is a rather uh, large uh, dressing, but you just never know when this stuff comes in handy. All right, so again, all that stuff just places in one bag. That's like my medical bag. So everything's together and organized. All right. Go ahead and put the medical out of the way, and what's left in this uh, big pouch? All right, so these are uh, some redundancy items. I have more, so don't uh, don't think this is it. All right, so I have another uh, life straw here. So in addition to my uh, my water bottle here that has filtration, I also have a standalone life straw. You literally take this thing, put it right up to whatever water source you want to drink from. Sorry, I was off camera there and you just drink it like a straw so I could stick this thing right into a puddle and drink from it and uh, I'm gonna be good and not get sick all right so life straw and then we've got this p4x survival torch these things are pretty cool if you haven't seen them before go ahead and look up a few videos um, I guess I'll take it out real quick for you not going to go through and light a fire in my house, obviously, but I'll kind of just show you what it looks like. All right, so you get your little fire starter here, and this rope is actually uh, this is actually what is what's burning. So you feed through however much you want to uh, you want to get to start your fire, then you run this thing here, creates a bunch of sparks. This lights on fire. You have it stuffed under whatever you know kindling that you've uh, that you've gathered, and then however much you want, if you want a bigger fire, then you just feed out more of this rope, and this whole freaking thing will start burning. So it's pretty cool. These come in uh, different lengths. I think it's like four or six feet, some shit like that. So pretty cool. Um, I thought it was awesome. All right, yeah. So this uh, this works very well. Again, I do have, this is a uh, redundancy. I do have other means to start fire and we'll go through that in a second. All right. And then lastly, in the main compartment is food because we can't do anything without food. Um, so this is pretty cool. This is for Patriots uh, meals. So they're kind of like, I guess, mountain house meals and things like that. If you're familiar with like dehydrated uh, meals. So you need boiling water to heat these things up. Um, the reason I chose the oatmeal is because in the event I couldn't find an abundance of water to heat up, I could just eat oatmeal raw and it'll be fine. Um, it's not going to be really that bad. It's just oats, sweetened oats. So here's your uh, nutritional value on these things. Um, this is going to be huge if you're like, say, on day two, you're feeling drained. Um, you're going to need stuff to keep you going. Your body needs fuel. Um, you wouldn't drive your car without gas. You can't uh, expect your body to do what it needs to do on an uh, empty tank. So oats were an easy choice. Doesn't take up a lot of room. In the event I can find water, I'm going to have a really good meal. In the event that I can't, still going to be just fine. Just chewing on some oats. No worries. All right. So that's all from that main pouch. Now I'm going to go to the middle pouch. See what we have here. All right. So this isn't anything fancy. Just some, uh, some trail mix, some peanuts, just basic snacks because... Food is good. All right, what do we got? So some insect repellent. You would be surprised how many people overlook how detrimental insect bites and things like that can be to your body. Um, one, 
just an annoyance factor. Bugs are freaking annoying. It drives me crazy. So imagine just being super stressed and bugs are all over you. You're going to freak the F out. And then again, bugs carry diseases. When they start biting you stuff, you can get really sick. So protect yourself. All right. And this, so in a survival situation, you're going to be very careful with this. So I have it in there just to have it. Um, may not ever necessarily use it. So if you did find a area that you wanted to establish, you know, some sort of camp or whatever in, clearly you don't want to mark the exact way to get to it with this, um, you know, leading right to it. But you could mark, you know, certain key terrain features, things like that to get you close enough and then say like, all right, hey, my last marker is going to be at this big oak tree. And then if I look to my southeast, I see a mountain ridge and my camp is 100 meters to the east of that. Okay, cool. You could use it in that, that sense. But if you wanted to mark a trail and you're taking it straight to where you're going, um, you're giving away your location. So be very careful with marking things. All right, next. So this is just a cheap uh, knife slash multi-tool deal. It's got your pliers has knife, little saw, all that cool stuff. It also has the ability to uh, make fire, has those little uh, fire starter tool in there. So um, lots of redundancy with fire and water because those are the, uh, the essence of life. All right, what else we got? So we have a roll of duct tape. So duct tape for anything from medical to shelters to fixing your gear, whatever, uh, duct tape is essential. Now you could throw a whole roll in there if you want to. Um, I chose to just have this little, uh, this little convenient package right here. So, you know, like I said, make it your own, make it work for you. All right, what else we got? So in the event that uh, GPS and all that stuff goes down, we have a lens added compass. Um, these things are huge, has the ability to shoot an azimuth, all that good stuff. Um, if you don't know how to do any of that, then most of them will come with a little instruction manual on how to do these things and uh, be a basic human. So don't worry. Written instructions will take you far. I have these in here because even though I know how to use it, when you're hungry, thirsty, tired, your brain is does not always work. At, uh, at its best. So it's nice to have a reminder of how to do basic things. All right. And we got this little convenient little case in here. So first, let me open this. What do we got in here? There's some extra carabiners. These things are huge. They're always good to have, especially uh, if you're spending the night out in the uh, wilderness, you can get gear off the ground, uh, away from animals, whatever, uh, sh set up shelters just nice to have carabiners all right and then also we have in here some waterproof matches so you can look those up if you want to just waterproof case huge matches they're going to burn for a while these are really really cool nice to have i like to have redundancies with fire because you just you never know man all right so waterproof matches We've got a uh, just a regular Bic lighter in a cool little waterproof case that I got off of uh, got off of Amazon. So pretty cool. Just pops in and out. Does what you needed to do. Yeah, you could have a Zippo and all that cool stuff, but I've come to find that uh, good old Bic just super cheap. Does what you needed to do. All right, and then last. Well, actually, it's not lastly. Then we have water purification tablets. So you see that I had my uh, two filters there to be able to filter water. Well, if I did uh, want to get a greater source of water together, I could go ahead and purify a bunch of it at one time with these uh, water purification tablets. So this is the first one where it will clean up all that water, get all rid of all the bacteria, blah, blah, blah. And then you have your PA plus here, which is going to remove all the like the the natural the nasty uh stuff left behind from all those chemicals so it'll clean up the uh the color of the water it'll make it taste a little bit better it's not going to taste like that iodine little residue taste it sucks but uh yeah it's going to clean up that water and make it taste good 
And then lastly in the little pouch is a toolkit to be able to eat. So it's a spork with a plastic knife built in. Pretty cool, nice to have stuff to eat with. Yes, you can eat with your hands and find stuff to eat with, but why not have a dedicated tool if you have the ability to pre-plan and uh, think about these things. All right, let's go ahead and set that off. All right, what's next in here? All right, so we have a saw. So it's just a little hand saw, has nice paracord handles, which can also be used for survival situations, creating uh, shelters, things like that, but makes a great handle for this saw right here. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out. If you've seen one saw, you've seen them all, but you come across some bigger logs, things like that, branches that you need to uh, chop up for kindling or to build shelters, things like that. Um, always good to have the ability to cut that stuff down, trying to chop away at it with your knife isn't always the answer, especially for larger uh, pieces of wood. All right, then we have something pretty cool. This is our electronics bag. Now, what electronics do we have? All right, so first and foremost, we have an emergency radio. I somehow turned it on, but so we have an emergency uh, radio. So this is AM, FM, and it also has the, uh, the weather broadcast channel. So that's pretty cool. Um, what I like about it is it's able to be charged with, it has battery, it has an internal uh, lithium ion battery. It also has the ability to solar charge and it has the ability to charge by hand crank. It's got a light built in. It's got all these things built in. It also gives you the ability to charge your, say your phone devices or any other devices you may have. Say the cellular network is not down. You could still use your phone and stuff, blah, blah, blah. This gives you the ability to charge all those accessories that you may have. So pretty awesome little radio, um, not very expensive and a definite must have to know what's going on around you. So if you uh, ever watch those uh, zombie apocalyptic type movies, they're always, uh, they're always listening to the radio to see who's out there. So there you go. All right. Then I got a couple, just a couple of, uh, cheaper Bofang radios. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special. Nice, uh, nice range on these things. And they're relatively inexpensive and do exactly what you need to do. Um, with those also came these, uh, little, uh, secret service headsets. These actually work really well. Um, I tried them out already. So basically this little end goes in your ear and then you have push to talk right here and it does exactly what you need to do. So what's beneficial about this is I don't really care about like being looking like I'm secret service and shit. What I care about is when somebody keys in over the radio, the sound will come through this tube into my ear devices being out loud so if i'm you know in an environment where i'm trying to be stealthy and not give away my location if somebody keys in over the radio like somebody else in my party like hey you know blah 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 all the sounds going to come through here and i'm not going to give away my position by just some loud ass radio in the middle of the woods that echoes for you know that's that sound travels far uh, a radio beep would like give away your location in a heartbeat so i think this is pretty cool and then um, I just have a couple of different charging cables for different accessories. Like I said, that radio does have the ability to uh, give you the opportunity to charge your accessories and stuff. So just have some cords to be able to do that. All right. All right. So go ahead and put my electronics to the side. Again, those bags are just kind of to keep everything uh, organized and together. Not really so much for waterproofing. And I think that is it for that middle pouch. All right, so let me go to this little front pocket here. All right, so in this front pocket, I have an extra knife. I always have one on my body, so this is just a redundancy to have an extra knife. And then I have a hundred feet of paracord. So not only do I have paracord with my, uh, my little saw there, obviously if I take my handle apart using that paracord, then I degrade my ability to use my saw. So I have a extra 100 feet to kind of do whatever I need to do as far as shelters and 
making things and whatever I needed. All right, so now we're going to this last pocket here. And I have an emergency tent. So basically all it is, I'm not gonna pull, I'm not gonna unfold it all the way, but it basically looks like a big ass piece of uh, like plastic tin foil on the, so it's green on the outside to obviously blend in with your environment. On the other side, it's that shiny aluminum uh, material that radiates the heat back to your body. So all it is literally is just a big tarp, but it's really thin plastic just to keep the stuff off of you and uh, radiate the heat back to your body. So not anything crazy, no big enclosure tent, just strict, uh, strictly emergency. All right, and then here is a four pack of emergency blankets and they're folded really, really small. And it's the same thing as the uh, emergency tent. It's the same type of material. Those emergency blankets are like that aluminum, really thin plasticky material that just help keep your body heat in. And these things actually work really well if you've never used them. Yeah, they look really flimsy and really cheap and blah, blah, blah. But when you're losing body heat out in the uh, elements, uh, they are huge in helping you, uh, helping you stay alive. All right. Then we got a light. This is my EDC 33 from Nightcore. This thing is super freaking bright. It's got a lockout function. Um, it does have a, uh, a proprietary battery. So it does have the uh, charging capability here, which again, I would use my radio to keep it charged. Then I have my Streamlight Stylus Pro, which is just a nice little you know, campsite light to not give off a huge amount of uh, ambient lighting, but still allows me to see what I'm doing. And then I got a couple of pens, which obviously take notes, write on stuff, whatever. And then I also have an extra knife because knives are huge and we like having a lot of redundancy with tools. All right, and then lastly, I'm not gonna take it off the, uh, the bag here, but I have an e-tool. Uh, if you don't know what an e-tool is, it's just basically a folding shovel, an entrenchment tool. Um, so that's great for using as a shovel, uh, as an ax, as a hammer, whatever the heck you need it for. E-tools are huge and they're always fun. All right, guys, so this is all the stuff we were able to stuff in this little backpack here. Again, 19 pounds. Could I shed some stuff? Absolutely. Could I add more stuff? Absolutely. Um, ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. So you have to pack and load out accordingly. Could I have some water offhand to begin with? Yes. Is water super heavy? Yes. Um, do I run a risk with that? Sure. I do. Could I bring one one uh, bottle of water with me to at least get a little ways? Sure. And uh, I probably will do that now looking at it. You know, 16 more ounces could uh, could be the difference in life or death. So it's good to start out with some. However, I'm banking on being able to find some dirty water somewhere. Um, and that's where these filters and the uh, iodine tablets and stuff like that come into play to make that water clean. Um, do not recommend <laughs> drinking from dirty puddles and things like that. Yeah, you're gonna feel the instant gratification, but later on when you're uh, puking and crapping yourself and dehydrating yourself further, you're gonna hate it. And uh, you're gonna be messed up and not be able to do a whole lot. So uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in those comments, what you would add, what you would take away. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys, until next time.